Greetings, welcome back to Pink Oddbird. Today what I'm here to show you are a couple of simple envelopes that you can make using some beautiful bohemian fabrics that you can pick up from Boho Daydreams. So to start out, I'm just gonna take a piece of vintage music paper here, and I'm gonna cut this down to size just by trimming down both of the edges. I like to keep the bundle of fabrics nearby because just looking through the whole entire bundle will allow me to just get an overview of what I might want to do with the project that I'm working on. So I found a couple of sheer fabrics here that I want to use and obviously I'm picking the sheer fabrics because I want the music paper to be able to show through as you can see here. Now once you've picked out your fabrics that you want to line your music paper or book page, I'm just going to line it up so that it kind of matches the perimeter of the paper and then use glue stick to temporarily glue it down before I stitch this all together. Now, of course, I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and stitch around the perimeter. And then I've also stitched around the center where the two pieces of fabric meet. Next, I'm just going to cut off the excess pieces. And if you have any substantial pieces, kind of like this bottom piece here, you definitely want to set those aside because you can still use those kind of big pieces later for other types of embellishments. Now that we've got this part done, the next thing I'm just going to do is start folding this up into the shape of an envelope. And the pointy tip was a little too long for me, so all I did was just fold that little tip inward and it just gives you a flat edge to the flap of your envelope. And then once I do that, I'm just going to stitch around it and make sure it all stays down. And then here is one of those little scrappy pieces that I've just stitched onto the flap as a embellishment sort of like a little ruffle and it just adds an extra pop because it's um, obviously it's a matching piece of fabric and I think it just adds the perfect little touch to this envelope and then here on the back you have enough space to add like an image or a word a pocket anything that you might want to do there I've decided that I want a little bit of flash or bling to add to this so I'm taking a little snippet of this gold trim here that was included in my bundle and I'm just going to use that as a little extra pop of color on the back flap. So this is the finished envelope for this one. And of course you can continue embellishing it how you see fit to match your project, but this is the base of it. So moving on, I'm taking a regular piece of coffee stained paper and I'm just gonna trim off that edge where it's torn. If it doesn't bother you, that's fine. You can use that piece, but I wanted to cut mine down a little bit. And then I'm gonna spray it up with a few different Tattered Angel sprays just to give it some color on the inside. And then of course I want to take my script stamp next and do a little bit of background stamping. And then once I get all of that background stamping done, I'm just going to go ahead and dry this down with my heat tool.
When I do some stamping like this, I like to use the stamp until all of the residual ink is gone. It just adds a nice ghost effect to the images that you're stamping out and keeps the theme of the envelope or tag or whatever it is that you're working on cohesive. Of course, right now with all of this work that we're doing here, this is just laying down a foundation. It's gonna basically act as the background to the fabrics that we're gonna be adding to this momentarily. As you can see here, I'm just going off of what I feel like, and I kind of want this to be blues, greens, and gold. Um, that first fabric that I cut out does have gold accents in it, so I'm just picking out a few different blues and greens here and a little bit of gold for pop of color. And as you can see, some of these pieces, they might seem like they're smaller pieces, but they go a super long way because... You know, you just use little pieces here and there unless you're intentionally making something that's large and requires a lot of fabric. Um, but when you're going in and making little embellishments to accent your project, these fabrics are going to go a super long way. So there's no mystery here. All you do is just kind of play around with your pieces and figure out what kind of layout aesthetically pleases you the most. And I felt like this needed a little, a little something extra. So I went ahead and I took some book page to layer that behind here. And then I'm gonna glue these pieces down lightly because I plan to stitch these to the page. And I really think when you start putting these pieces together, different individual fabrics really come together and become one because they just complement each other so well. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I wanna do, I found this little wooden flower and I kind of wanna just stamp on this and distress it and pick where, where I like it most and add it to my envelope. Thank you. 
So I'm just gonna get these two buttons added on and that is gonna wrap it up for the two envelopes that we're working on today. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this first installment of the embellishments. I think I'm gonna start out with embellishments and then we might move into working on an actual book, but either way, I hope that you will continue to join me on this little series that I'm doing and I hope that you find some value and information and different ways that you can use fabrics like this. So that's going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.